um they just make really good products overall not to like suck their dick or anything but like they're really good <laughs> then i just have this like little random stress ball my mom gave me because she was like worried about my mental sanity so <laughs> cute okay um who man this is a lot of stuff to my channel thank you so much for being here today if you are new my name is Kayla and I do makeup videos if you're returning thank you so much for being here I'm so happy to see you um so today we're gonna take a look at my makeup collection which I'm super excited about um I really enjoyed filming this video I got very nostalgic looking at just like all of my products some that I've had for like a really long time um I've been watching makeup videos on YouTube since like 2014, 2015. Um, so uh, I just, I have a lot of <laughs> products, a lot of stuff. I mean, my collection is not huge, but it's a lot bigger than most people. Um, a lot of the stuff I have is affordable, so you'll see that. Um, and yeah. Of course, before we get into the video, do not forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you are enjoying the content so far. I don't think there's too much else I need to say, so I'll just get out your way so you can watch the video. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here, as always. So today, like I said in the intro, I'm going to be showing you my makeup collection and, like, my vanity so to get started, I just kind of wanted to give you like a quick overview of my vanity setup. So this is it. Um, yeah, you can see it. So the table is from Ikea originally. I got it from Goodwill when I was in college, but I know that the table and like the legs are from Ikea. So I'll link that below. I'll link everything down below that I'm talking about. So the table desktop is from Ikea. This mirror setup that I have is from Ikea and Amazon. So the mirror itself is from Ikea and then the lights that are attached to either side of it, like right there and right there, these lights are from Amazon. And they turn on with my little remote control, which is so lovely. Um, so you can make them brighter or darker and this is normally where I film my um, makeup tutorials things but this is where I sit and get ready um, anytime that I'm getting ready um, so yeah my lights are really cool I'm really happy with them I actually found the idea on Pinterest um, and just copied it so <laughs> Um, this is what it, I'll insert a picture of the picture I saw and then I just copied it and I looked it up and I'll try to link the lights below as well as the mirror and the table of course and then down below I have my little stool it looks super gross <laughs> so I'm sorry about that but that's just from Target um, I got it maybe a year or two ago Okay, so that's everything. We'll get to what is on top of my vanity in a minute. Really quick, over here in the corner, I have this, like, cart that I got off of Amazon as well, and I just got it to hold, like, a bunch of other products and stuff, and so I will also be going through all of that, every single tier, and then I guess kind of the last thing up on my vanity area is my oil diffuser it's from walmart i talked about it in um a haul that i did not too long ago um i'll link it above and now let's just jump into all my products okay so i think i'm going to start with my like little cart first um, so it slides just like right into the side of my desk and then I pretty much just like can pull it out uh, when I need it and it just kind of fits perfectly in this space. So I'm going to go through each tier with you guys and show you what I've got. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way to the top um, just because it gets kind of more interesting <laughs> as we go up. So the first kind of... Uh, tier of this 
I just, this is where I keep all of my like scented lotions and stuff. I have a bottle of sunscreen down here. I just have so many of these like Victoria's Secrets lotions and like bath and body works lotions that i've just like collected over the years or like have been gifts and i don't really want to throw them away um i just keep them down here because i don't really use scented lotion that much um okay and then this bag that was on top of there so in here it's just this like black tote bag this is really close up but it's just this black tote bag that I got from forever 21 one Christmas and inside of it I just keep all of my makeup bags um I have like 50 well I don't have 50 I think there's like four in here <laughs> but this is where I keep my makeup bags just to keep them all in one place so if I ever need one or multiple to go somewhere I just know where they are okay so that's that tier and we will move on okay so this next here is some makeup and kind of some miscellaneous products. I have some sleep masks that I just leave over here because it's next to my bed so if I ever want one I can just reach for one. And then I have these makeup wipes from Marshalls. Um, they were a gift. I don't really like use makeup wipes like remove remove my makeup. Um, I keep them at my vanity in case I need to like wipe off my hands if I'm doing like swatches or something or I don't know if I just need to kind of remove something really quick. So I keep those down here. They're almost gone. And then in this little box. Ooh. Oh God. So in this little box, I got this case from Target a while back. It has one more like attachable bottom that goes onto it um, that I keep stuff in. But yeah, this is like really good if you're ever like traveling. I'll put a bunch of makeup in here if I'm traveling for like a couple days because um, it's just easier than carrying like three different like makeup bags and it keeps your stuff like very secure and from like breaking and shit. So um i really like this got it from target oh this might be from walmart well i don't know it's by this brand can y'all see that that you know probably can't see that there it's by that brand so if you just look it up i'm probably you can probably find it so i'm gonna go through what is inside of here with you guys okay so this top portion um i have my bronzers and my powders um, so I have loose powders, I have bronzers, I have these little <laughs> sponges that always come with like pressed powders that I never really use but I use them sometimes. Um, okay, so I have this Maybelline, um, set, setting powder, fit me powder. Mine is in the shade light medium. I've used this in a lot of tutorials. Um, it's not translucent, it does have a tint to it but it comes in different shades so um they probably will have your shade um so yeah you can find this at literally any drugstore i have this black radiance loose setting powder this is in the shade banana and then the next loose setting powder i have is the cody airspun cody airspun i don't really know how you say it but the cody airspun this was kind of like a og on youtube like way back in the day this is the translucent extra coverage and let me tell you that powder is thick i don't use it that much for that reason like it oh it's all over my hands like it's very very soft and very velvety but it is thick and if you're not accustomed to working with loose setting powders i probably would not recommend that one because it can get overdone very fast um so I don't use it a lot I tend to use these a lot more my bronzers and my compacts oh I forgot I also have this little loose um setting powder this is a YSL powder um Okay, I just got cut off because my phone ran out of storage, but I fixed it. Okay, I was saying, this bronzer kind of blew up not too long ago on YouTube. I saw a lot of people using it, and I tried it out for myself, and I wasn't in love with it, I'll be honest with you. So it's not one that I reach for a lot, but I do have it. Okay, and then I have my Black Radiance. These are actually foundation powders. Um, 
and I really like them for bronzers. So I have this one in the shade Warm Hazelnut and then this one in the shade Bronze Glow. Um, they're really similar colors. I'll show you. I think Warm Hazelnut is a bit more, it's a bit darker. So this is Warm Hazelnut, which is, look at her. And then this is Bronze Glow. Um, so Warm Hazelnut, it's a bit darker and a lot more warm. So I picked this one up to get something that was obviously not as dark, not as warm. Okay, and then I have this little Maybelline um, setting powder, just a pressed powder. This is in the shade 220. And then of course I have my wonderful, my favorite butter bronzer. So this is the matte one. This is in the shade deep, I believe. They make a couple different shades. I know it's hard to see under here because this light isn't great, but I'm basically like under my desk. <laughs> but, um, so this is in the shade deep and then this one is in the shade Brazilian glow. So obviously you can see it's like very, very glowy and bronzy. Um, and I love both of them. They are on the more expensive side for, um, drugstore bronzers. I think they're like almost $15 or something. Um, but in my opinion, it's completely worth it. They're so good. Um, so if you're kind of a makeup junkie like I am and you're into that, then I would suggest picking it up. Um, okay. And then I have this little YSL bronzer that like is not in any packaging. Again, I got this from my sister when she worked at Nordstrom's and it came in like a little plastic pack and I just threw it away. So now it just sits in here. I tend to kind of use it as a blush because it's really, really orange. I pretty much never use it. So it kind of just rattles around in this thing. Um, but okay, that's it for this top part. So moving on to the bottom section. This is just where I keep all of my lashes. I have a bunch of kind of like different random lashes in here. This is empty. You shouldn't even be here any <laughs> anymore. And I have some lash glue. I use the Kiss lash glue. Um, so yeah, a bunch of random lashes. The ones that I use the most are by this brand, Miss 3D Lash. But you can go online and check them out. They have tons of different styles. Um, and I think they're around like three or four dollars a box. So pretty decent. Um, I have a few pairs by them that I really like and like I said they just have a bunch of different styles so yeah that is where I keep all my lashes. Okay now we're gonna go through this next tier. Um, so basically this is where I keep a lot of my lipsticks as you can see and then this is where I keep like all of my single eyeshadows and blushes and highlighters and stuff like that. Okay. So first, I guess I'll grab this. So I keep all of my lipsticks just in these little glass containers that I have kind of acquired over the years. Um, I don't know. I just got this one from like my parents' house. One of them was a candle holder and I'll show you that in a second. Um, but yeah, so I just keep all, a lot of my lipsticks in here. So yeah, pretty much a lot of these lipsticks you're going to see are ColourPop, um, just because I love them. I think they make really great products, so. Um, but yeah, so I have some lip glosses in here. I don't really wear a lot of lip gloss, but I have it for the times that I need to. Um, okay, and then this next one, these are more like my, I guess, like bullet lipsticks. I have a few bullet lipsticks. Um, I have some of these ones from e.l.f. which are actually pretty good. I have these two ColourPop just a tint crayons and I love these. Um, again, I have a lot of like just lip glosses. I have that lip gloss. I have this lip gloss. And then I just have kind of like some little cheap bullet lipsticks whether it's literally the dollar store or something from the dollar store. Wet n Wild, Revlon. So yeah. This pot is exclusively ColourPop liquid lips, um, whether it's their matte liquid lips or satin uh, liquid lips. Um, yeah, I just, this is where I keep them all. They just fit really nice. This jar did used to be a candle holder. So 
um a trick is if you have like old candle containers or jars or whatever once they get down to like here and you like can't really light them anymore you stick it in the freezer for like a day and then you take it out and you crack all the wax out and yeah and then you like melt the label off or do whatever you need to do and you got yourself a little container. These are pretty much the majority of my lip products. I have a few more on my vanity that we will get to later. And then this container over here, like I said, is loose. Oops. Is like loose or single pot eyeshadows, blushes, highlights. Um, and as you can tell, a majority of them are from ColourPop. So that's pretty much the only place that I'll get like single uh, potted like eyeshadows from. If I don't get them from ColourPop, then I'm pretty much just buying a palette. Um, so yeah, I'll go through this a little bit. I won't get too in depth into it. If you guys want to see a collection of like just my color pop stuff where i let you know like what's good like what you should buy they have so much stuff on their site now but if you want me to do a video where i go over what i have what i think is worth it um then i can do that i'll probably do it anyway even if you don't ask for it so and then i have these little elf uh potted eyeshadows i have like three of these in different colors those are really good too i don't think they really sell those anymore though so yeah um yeah that's pretty much it so like i said if you want to see an in-depth video of like my color pop collection i can totally do that i'll probably do it anyways then i just okay and then last but not least we have our last tier um on the cart um so this is where i keep all of my makeup eyeshadow palettes or just palettes in general because there's some face palettes in here too and then i keep this mirror this like standalone mirror i keep this up here um just because i don't really have a ton of room for it on my desk and i like for my desk to look nice and clean so i don't keep it up there all the time i'll just keep it in the cart but yeah so i have my eyeshadow palettes okay so i have my eyeshadow palettes and then i have some skincare products up here so this is the most recent palette i have that's why it's like sticking up like this and yeah um, and it's still in the box. So this is the Naked Honey Palette by Urban Decay. And then, so these I pretty much have, so these are all of my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. Um, I love these palettes. I love their eyeshadows. I think they make incredible eyeshadows. And I think their palettes are so worth the money. They're obviously a little bit pricey. I think they're around like $45. Um, but if I'm buying high-end makeup, the one thing that I can guarantee you I will buy is a high-end palette. Um, so, yeah, their palettes are great. This top one was the Master Palette with, by Mario. Um, so Mario, I don't know, like, his full name, but Makeup by Mario on Instagram. He is, is a makeup artist who does makeup for the Kardashians. I think he does it, like, specifically for Kim. I don't know that he does it for, like, any of the other sisters. <laughs> but, um, this palette is beautiful, super neutral. It was limited edition, so they don't have any more, um, but it's a beautiful palette. I have their Modern Renaissance palette, which is like their OG, like when warm tones were like all the rage and everybody could not get enough of them. They came out with this and it did numbers and it still does numbers. I have their Sultry palette. I don't think this gets enough hype, but if you're someone who likes like cool tones and a lot of glitter, then I would get this palette. Um, it's it's advertised as a cool tone palette so you can see like it has like these grays um some cooler toned like browns in it but honestly whenever i put this on my eyes i just love how it looks i always get compliments on it and then this subculture palette um if you guys are like real makeup people you'll remember when this came out and how it like did not do well and people were just trashing it and giving it like bad reviews saying like the pigment wasn't there the formula da, 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 whatever they had this at marshall's for discounted maybe last year they had tons of them and i was like you know what the heck let me just pick it up because i love them i do want to try the palette for myself i'd gotten a little bit more into color 
and yeah I was like let me give it a whirl I haven't really tried it since I bought it I've tried it I've worn it like maybe like twice and I've worn the yellow shades and this fudge shade this electric shade is really pretty though um but yeah so those are the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes that I have um I have this makeup revolution blush palette I think in hot spice I use this so much when I first got it I still use it but now I'm kind of like venturing into like my other blushes um but it's a really pretty like neutral warm tone blush palette um blush palettes are great if you're not a blush person and you kind of want to get into blush or like you just don't really want to spend the money on like tons of different blushes just get you a blush palette and you'll be good to go so i got this in high school i did my own makeup for prom and my mom got me this palette it was so sweet of her and it's just so funny because like in hindsight like i would not have I would not have bought this palette like today just because it's so cool toned and I do not use like grays and stuff like that but I used this half baked shade into the ground you guys chopper I also use that so much but this was the first palette I ever owned it was the first like high-end palette I've ever owned and I've just had it ever since and I will literally never give it away for that reason keep all my some of my highlighters in here um, so I have these Wet n Wild ones. I have this Master Chrome by Maybelline one, and then I have this Elf one, and I just keep those in here. I have these two very big Wet n Wild highlights, which are beautiful. Um, okay, and then let's start from these back too. So both of these palettes are from Beauty Bay. Um, if you don't know what Beauty Bay is, it is a UK like retailer where they sell like a bunch of different brands and makeup um, and they do ship to the US so I have two of their palettes I have this beautiful super colorful palette by them this is in their this is bright I guess that's the name of the palette it's 42 colors it's huge it was like 12 or 15 dollars I don't know how much it was but I'll link it down below um because it's so it's so pretty so I got it just so that I could kind of get into using a little bit more color and then I have this Going Out Out palette by them. It's also one of their 42 um, shade ones. So it comes with, it's basically all glitter <laughs> shades, um, like glitters and satins. Um, and then in the corners, it has um, matte shades. So it has like a matte black, a matte brown. I really want to play around with this palette more. I haven't used it a ton since I got it, but it is so cute. And then, oh my God. You guys, Morphe doesn't even do their packaging like this anymore. That just shows you like how long I've had this. But this is their 35O palette. I don't, again, if you have like been on YouTube since like, or like, you know, if you've been into makeup, been watching like YouTube makeup videos since like 2000 and maybe like 15 maybe like 2015, you will know that this palette was all the rage. It was so fucking hyped because this was when the warm tone trend was like coming around and it had all these beautiful orange shades in it and it was constantly sold out. And I remember I got like an email or like a notification or I think I was watching like somebody's story and they said it was back in stock and I jumped on the website and I bought it and here we are years later um this palette still goes hard like let's be honest so last but not least i have my anastasia beverly hills glow kit again if you guys remember when they came out with these glow kits like the first time like they were so hyped and they were so worth it like the palettes were so good and like they're still like this palette is still going hard after maybe like I don't I don't know how many years I've had it but this palette is so good you really can't see that but it's it's so good these pans are huge I don't know how much this used to retail for this is discontinued um I think they only have like one that they sell now um but yeah this is like an OG palette and I'm so happy I have it 
Oh my gosh, looking through all this makeup is just making me nostalgic because it's just reminding me of when I like first got into makeup. Okay, but yeah, that's it for this. I'm gonna put these palettes back and then I'm going to show you what is on top of my table. All right, guys, now I'm gonna show you what is on top of my vanity. Um, so I'm gonna start out with this section right here. So this is where I keep all of my foundations. Um, let me pull this out so you guys can see it. This is where I keep all of my foundations. I have some lip products. I keep like some eye products back here. And then these drawers are filled with um, primers, blushes, um, contour. So I'll kind of walk through that and show you guys what is up okay so first things first this container with the drawers is from marshall's i want to say marshall's home goods tj maxx you can find a lot of different like makeup storage there um this little acrylic uh lipstick holder is also from one of those places and then this uh holder this um i originally used it as a brush holder and i needed more room for my brushes so i brought bought a different brush holder but this little organizer is from the container store in this drawer i have um like all of my not all of my blushes but i have some of my blushes so i have this laura mercier um this is like a highlight like glowy blush but so i have this um i have some wet and wild color icon blushes i have this blush from sephora i have a blush from ysl back there um that little this disney one is from ColourPop. it's super pretty it's like this hot pink coral shade it's so pretty it was limited edition um and yeah so this is where i keep my blush i keep this this little elf like baked blush um so that is just where I keep all of those. And then this next one is, this next drawer is like cream products um, and primers. So a mini blush stick that I just got from Sephora with their birthday gift. I have all of these e.l.f. Um, face palette so i have a cream contour palette i have a blush palette and i have a bronzer palette and the cool thing about these is that you can pop out the squares on the inside and kind of like customize like one palette to like take with you everywhere that's what i do when i travel um i have some primers in here i have the fenty primer just the mini and then i have two of the elf uh putty primers i have it in matte and i have the original and then I have like this Wet n Wild contour stick. I have just this little uh, trial of the Hydro Grip, which I haven't used yet and I really want to use. Ooh. And then I have some little like YSL um, foundation samples that again, I got from my sister when she worked at Nordstrom's. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that drawer. And then on top of here, I just have all my foundation. So... I have a MAC lipstick. I have these Wet n Wild um, liquid lipsticks here. I just keep all of them up here just kind of as like a set. Um, and then I have just some little minis that I've gotten from like Sephora over the years. And then I have the ColourPop um, bullet lipsticks. Um, these are good. I like them. I only have two. Honestly, I really want to get enough to fill this whole thing so that it's just filled with these gold lipsticks um but yeah their lipsticks are nice i told you guys earlier i love their lip products and then in this back container i just kind of keep random stuff like i keep like face shapers an eyelash curler this little fan to fan my setting spray which i'm sure you guys have seen me do in some videos um, and then in here i have some brow products um yeah i have a little spoolie and then this is where i keep all of my mascaras and eyeliners so i have a bunch of the um color pop 
cream gel liners. I have a bunch of these in different colors, mostly like browns and neutrals um, and stuff. And then I have a couple of different uh, mascaras. I have a Lancome one. I have a CoverGirl one. I have this little Wet n Wild um, like color stick that I've been meaning to play with. So I'll probably end up doing a video with this on my IGTV. So make sure you follow me there. And yeah, I have just like another little couple mascaras, eyeliners. And that's pretty much it for this. This container I got from, I want to say Home Goods. Um, they tend to have like a lot more of like these really nice glass ones. This is like glass and probably like brass or something. I don't know. But I like the gold on it, so I got it. Um, and this is just where I keep like all my beauty sponges in here. Over in this section, I have my little tweezers and I keep my concealers. This is a foundation, but I use it as a concealer because it's so thick and very light it's way too light for me so yeah i have my ColourPop concealers which you always see me use i have this elf um camo concealer that i haven't really used a lot um it's a little bit too light um so i've been trying to figure out how to work with it but yeah so i have those and then in this section i have so ColourPop used to make these supernova shadows and they are like these liquid glitter shadows they're so beautiful they discontinued them for whatever reason i don't know why because they're so pretty and then over here are just all of my lip liners pretty much all of my lip liners are by nyx cosmetics um so yeah my favorite lip liners are the nyx suede um it's these, it's the NYX Suede. These are my favorite. They just look so soft on the lips. They are matte and creamy and beautiful. And yeah, that's that. And then last but not least, we will do this girl. Okay, so this container, I believe I got from Marshalls. Just assume it was Marshalls. But yeah, so it has this kind of like front compartment and then it has like some sections in the back so I really liked that um, and I just keep all my brushes back here they're disgusting so like don't look at them I try to separate it by like small eye brushes that's not in the right place by like small eye brushes like medium brushes and then like big face brushes um, so yeah and then in this front section I keep these little um, cotton rounds um, to take off my makeup with the little bottles that I showed you guys if I'm ever like too lazy to go to the bathroom um, and then I have some liquid highlights here I have some liquid eyeliners both of these are by Wet n Wild I have my eyebrow duo that I always use right in front and then I have this little elf um, liquid eyeshadow that I used in a video not too long ago on my IGTV my dirty martini look um, and yeah, I would put this in with like the other liquid eyeshadows, but it's so tiny that I wouldn't be able to really get it out. So yeah, I just keep it in there. And then I have this palette by ColourPop. It's just so tiny and cute. And I put it up there just because it's a very neutral palette and you can like use it whenever you just kind of need like a brown shade. Um, so I just keep it up in there. And then I have these two little um wet and wild hello halo highlight duos they're so pretty i've used both of these in videos or maybe just this one but they're both so pretty um so yeah they sell them everywhere <laughs> um and then i just have these little becca um products um one of my friends gave them to me um, for my birthday because it came in a set and I guess these are with Chrissy Teigen, which I don't even know if I knew that I mean, I probably did I just forgot. Sorry that has some Crusty makeup on it. Oh my god. It's stuck on me. I Keep some little like lip pencil sharpeners in here um, And then of course my morphe continuous setting spray best setting spray on the market This one is pretty much empty right now. So I need to get a new one 
And then this mirror that I didn't really get to show you guys, this is from Marshalls, I'm sure of it. Okay, yeah, but that's it, you guys. Um, I'll fast forward to me so we can do the outro. All right, guys, that is it for the makeup collection. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a long one, so if you stayed till the end, leave me a comment down below, and I hope you really liked it. Before I sign off, I do really quick want to just say something about the current situation in the states as well as you know the world i guess it's a really heavy time for a lot of us um i don't really know how to put into words how i'm feeling it's a lot of different emotions as i'm sure a lot of people can relate with a lot of black people um I'm obviously not going to talk too, too much about it, but I will say this. Now is not the time to not have an opinion about what is going on and what has been going on. Um, I don't have a very large platform, obviously, but for the few people that I do reach, um, if this can even, like, get to one person, um, I think that means something. I think being on these types of platforms, you have to use them to talk about things that matter i mean i talk about a lot of stuff that don't matter on here but this this matters um now it's not the time to not have an opinion this is about human rights at the end of the day and you're either with us or you're not so um i hope everybody protesting is being safe um we're still in the middle of a pandemic so i hope everybody's being safe in general but yeah if it's been heavy for you i'm i'm right there with you um I've, I've had a lot of emotions about what's been going on um so it's not easy especially since you know i personally am still like in isolation so yeah um just know you're not alone know that um you know these are just the times that we're living in so yeah, I'll get off of here now, guys. Okay, again, thank you so much for staying till the end if you did. And be sure to watch out for my next video that is hopefully coming on Friday. Follow me on Instagram and check out my IGTVs because I post a lot of little tutorials there. And yeah, anyways, okay, bye guys.